this is a slide uh, about two years ago we were in Barcelona the workshop with about 30 road authorities from all over Europe discussing uh, when will automated vehicles come to our roads to our cities and have an impact and we all agreed we do not agree nobody knows and I think this is not that important it's uh, more about this in the transition towards fully automated vehicles, we already could have some quick wins. And ISA, Intelligent Speed Assistance, we talked about it yesterday. This is, I think, a very important quick win. It could save lives already now. And we could discuss a lot about automated vehicles, but let's take the quick wins already now. And this is ISA. And it's not only about the statistics that 25,000 people killed every year on European roads. This is the picture I took. This is about people dying in accidents. So this is what uh, the working group on intelligent speed assistance is about. It's about ISA. Um, it's, I think, the, one of the most concrete working groups. It's really on one a single topic working group, but I think it's very important because it's about saving lives. And the goals of the working group, uh, we discussed it yesterday. First of all, are we very happy about the European Commission proposal to mandate ISA? The technology is already available in some cars, but it should be standard in every truck, in every bus, in every vehicle. And this is what the European Commission proposals work on. So the idea of our working group is to support the proposal of the European Commission wherever we can in our network. Speaking to our ministries, uh, speaking to the members of the European Parliament, this is one part of the work group. But at the same time, we do not want to sit and wait. If you have to wait until the, the, the proposal comes in place and all the new vehicles will be equipped, it will take 10, 20 years. What we want to do in the working group is also initiate, uh, facilitate all kinds of in-between steps, concrete steps. I'm very happy Transport for London is here and they're doing very good things with procurement, procurement of buses. It's not mandatory yet, but they're asking uh, Volvo to supply the buses with ISA equipped already. And this will give a boost to the market. I think you're ordering about 700 new buses per year, so if 700 new buses will be equipped with ISA, this really will... It is mandatory. It's now mandatory in, in your system, so it's, I think it's a great initiative. Uh, Transport for London will be at my table as well to give you some more information about this. But there are also other ways, um, even very simple ones, to raise awareness. Some users already have ISA system on board in the car, but they do not know it. They do not know how to use it. And, I myself, uh, I'm, I'm well very familiar with cars, and I even did not know I had it on board. After two months, I found it out. So this is something, and what we're also trying to do, at least in the Netherlands, we do some parts with retrofitting existing vehicles to retrofit aftermarket installation of ICE technology in existing vehicles. So this is very concrete steps we want to do. We signed a manifesto yesterday. Car and Plus signed a manifesto. We started yesterday with 15 organizations and in the meantime we already doubled in one day. So now we have 13, 30 organizations supporting the idea. But even more important, I had some very interesting discussions yesterday with representatives of the automotive industry. Because of course we need the cities, we need the region, but especially the automotive industry and the first tier supplies, they are very important. And I had some very hopeful and positive discussions with the automotive industry yesterday as well about ISA. So if you want to hear more about this, uh, please join my table. Um, join my table, not, maybe not so much to hear about, but I want to hear from you how you can support this initiative. And totally outside the scope of this, this uh, topic, um, we will host the ITS Congress next year. So if you want to join the ITS Congress next year on Helmut, please welcome. Thank you. I have some leaflets for you.